How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial. This is for Flight of the Navigator by Childish Gambino. Let me know if you want any more Childish Gambino. Let me know if you want anything in particular whatsoever. Um, and yeah, we'll just get on with it. First thing to know about this song, you're going to have to tune your guitar. If you want it to sound exactly like the recording, uh, you're going to have to tune your guitar a quarter step up. So if you have like a tuning app or a tuner, it's halfway between E and F on the top string, for example. Right. There's an app called Pano Tuner that's free and it's very good. It's a chromatic tuner. Um, and you just line it up like between E and F, bang. Between A and B, bang. And so on. Right, so there's an intro section and then the rest of the song, yes. <laughs> That goes on for a while. So, okay, all major and minor chords in this song. Nothing too scary. First thing we're going to do, F sharp major 7 on the 9th fret. So that's starting from the 5th fret, 9, 11, 10, 11, 9. And the, whole, the picking pattern for this whole song... So the first top two... Oops, sorry. Bless me. So we're going to go top two, and then B string, and then G string. So it's like bum, 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 like down, and then up. Move this shape down to the E, which is two frets down on the seventh. And that, that is the whole first part of the song. It's just back and forth between those. The second section and the verse uh, are the same chords, except the first part is played high, as in the high versions of the chords, and the second part is played with the low versions of the chords. So, first one. This is an A major 7, but an octave higher on the 12th fret. So same shape as this one and this one, but on the 12th fret. down to F sharp minor now. So just minor shape up on the ninth fret. To A flat minor seven or G sharp minor seven. Same thing, just take your pinky off. Now move that exact shape down to the fourth fret, but now Instead of playing the B and the G string at the bottom, you're going to play the E and the B. And then you shift the bass note to the top string. So you're going to go. And then back up. Now, when he starts singing, it goes lower. So it's the same version, it's the same chords, but just the lower version. So the first one is just A major seven, which is the same shape as all these other ones, just without the root note, because that's the open A string. Now we're gonna move to this F sharp minor chord. So minor shape, 
with the bard 12th uh, second fret. And instead of playing these four, we're going to play the top four. Same pattern. Bum, 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 bum. Move that shape up too, to G sharp. To that same end chord. But now, instead of playing the bottom two strings, just go back to B and G. <laughs> yeah, if you want to solo along the vocals in this song, it's on the ninth fret pentatonic. Uh, you get the point. Um, those are the chords. Let me know down below what you want to hear next. Um, shout out Alan Samer, who just replied to a video saying awesome tutorial. Thank you, sir. The comments are much appreciated. It makes my day a lot of the time. So please feel free to leave them. Enjoy it.